My, you got a lot of clubs there, Tom. Yeah, I'm just adjusting my set here. Can you tell me, you, you said you were going to talk to us about the irons. Can you tell us a little bit about why you need so many irons okay. and what they do and all that? Okay, we will do that. Okay, first of all, all predominantly this set of golf set is predominantly irons. When you get some woods, you get what they call some some rescue clubs or utility clubs they call or there's different names for these different clubs. But basically clubs come through a four iron through sand wedges. And everyone has a purpose. And the purpose is because of the angles. For example, you get a four iron, is a very low iron, it has it's like about twenty degrees. And what happens is it's a very it's, it's a it's a club that is gonna make the ball kind of go far. It's okay. not going to get a really lot of height on it. Uh, again, it's kind of a flat club, 21 degrees, if you can imagine what degrees are, is not really, really that high. Yeah, I see how the blade kind of is almost straight up it, and down. It's straight up and down, right. Compared to, say, a sand wedge, which I will show you the difference, which is, see the difference? Oh, wow. It goes higher in the air. Cool. But this is much of a shorter shot. Right. So I'll, I'll go very briefly through what these, these clubs do. This is about 20 degrees, and this is for probably a shot, maybe over 180 yards to 200 yards. Um, it's a harder club to hit. You have to have a lot of swing speed to really get the ball. You want to hit down on the ball. The, you don't lift up to hit the ball. You actually hit down on the ball. Oh, when you okay. hit down on the ball, the angle of the club will lift the ball up. Gotcha. And this being a four iron, it's going to go sort of line driving. Uh -huh. Very, very hard club to hit. Now, I don't mean to jump the gun, but some people don't hit irons very good. So what they have, this is called a rescue club or a utility club, or they call it, uh, there's another name, I can't think offhand what it is. But this is the same thing as a four iron. But as you can see, there's a lot more mass behind it. And it's almost the same angle as you can see. As you can see, it's almost the same angle. Right. But it's a little bigger and fatter which would be easier to hit and easier to get the ball up in the air. Yeah. So this is something that's kind of, uh, kind of new in the last three or four years and a lot of people, pros even have these in their bag. Wouldn't that be kind of hard to hit if, if you've got a lot of grass around the, your ball no, actually, or is it actually easier? Actually it's easier because this being very small, this can dig into the grass. Right. It's very small. This is going to go, since it's such a big club, it's going to go through the grass. It's going to kind of slide. Oh, okay. So this would be, actually these are made for when you're in tall grass. Okay. So this is, like I said, I didn't mean to jump the gun, but the four iron. Okay, so it starts out with four iron, four iron. and then five, right. six, seven, eight, it, nine. You go five, six, seven, and a five iron is good for me. You know, for me a five iron could be 160, for some people it could be 180. For some people, it could be 130. It depends on how hard you swing. Okay, so you just have to start learning how to hit the ball, and then you'll get a good idea of yeah. how far you're going to be able to hit each one accurately. What you do is you go to a range and hit each ball. Hit 15, 20, 25 balls. Just take an average how far they go. So, okay. You know, hit one 130 and one 160, your average is probably like 145, 150. Right. Just because you hit it 160 doesn't mean every time you're going to hit it 160. Right. But a four, five, then you got a six iron, which is, you know, it, again, it depends. Everybody's different. But the higher you go, eight, nine, W, which is a wedge, the ball goes higher. The ball goes a lot higher. Okay. Oh, there's all your clubs. All oh, jeez. Yeah. I see all those yeah. irons now. Yeah. Man. And, and these irons are all different. Some are what they call forwards, some are blades. I have a club that, as you can see, it's a ping. And what it does, it's got this weighting here. It's a low, it's a bottom weighting, and it's on the bottom of the club. Uh -huh. So when you hit, it has more lift to the ball. It actually helps you get the ball in the air. So this is this is technology you see in clubs. Then there's a tungsten weighting on your toe. So if you hit it on the toe, it will make up for a bad shot. So tell tell us what on the club. When you say toe, that's the tip of it. This that's is, the okay. end. Yeah. This Tell would, us a little bit about that. Okay, this would be the toe, this would be the heel, oh, okay. and this is the sole of the club. And 
You know, and I'll give you an example. One cl up here, here's two six irons. This, my clubs are relatively kind of, they're probably for a, a better player. Not that I'm a better player. This is for a person that needs a little extra help. And if they're both the six iron, and can you see the difference in them? Yeah, that the, the one, one on the right here is much thicker. Right, on the left of the yeah, camera, much, but in yeah. your right hand, yeah. You, it, what it does, there's more weighting all the way around the club. So if I was to hit the ball here or there or there or there, it'll still go pretty good. Where my club, the weighting's kind of right only in here. Right. If I hit that right there, it's going to go perfect. That's like the sweet spot. The sweet spot. If I hit them on the sides here, it won't go as far. Okay. But these clubs are more workable. You, you can chip better with them. They're, they're smaller. I just cannot hit a big, fat club. So in I, other words, the big club uh, off to the left, the, well, your right hand there. My right, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's called, it's more forgiving. It's more forgiving, Meaning, right. if you don't hit the ball in the sweet spot every right. single time, you can still get a fairly good, good shot yard, out. Right. Right. A bad hit here might go 150, a bad hit might here might go 130. Okay. It's a little more forgiving, but if you hit the ball on the sweet spot, this ball is going to be more, probably more okay. nice trajectory and all that. So like for the pros, they actually have one S smaller even than smaller this. than that, smaller right? Smaller than this, yeah. Some pros use this model I-15. So like I say, not that I'm a pro, but the thing is I just like the small heads of them. Right, okay. I would say the sweet spot on this is probably the size of a half a dollar. Uh-huh. Where the sweet spot on here, on my club, is probably the size of a maybe a quarter, maybe even a nickel. Oh, okay. So you have to be much more precise with these clubs. Gotcha. But, for but, but with that, you can you, you don't have, it, it seems like you don't have to swing as hard. Maybe, no, you Maybe don't. you get no. further yeah. uh, distance on that you club, could, right? Yeah. yeah. But the distance comes with swing speed. You get something like three mile. You get three yards for every mile per swing speed or something. So what's a swing speed? A swing speed. I mean, we're is, kind of getting off the subject, but hey, we're just going to go with yeah. it here. A swing speed is something you go on a, a machine, and what it does, you get a machine, and what you do is you basically swing the club, and when you swing it, it registers how fast you swing the club. Somebody that swings at 80 miles and 100 miles an hour. Of course, it'll go faster, farther than somebody that swings 80 miles an hour. Right. So. And and that's just that's just whatever. Yeah. Whatever's normal to you. Right. You're not going to basically change your swing speed that much, are no, you? No, not really. No. Over it's your just, lifetime. It's no, I mean, it's no. something that you have to get a, right. a certain club to match your yeah. your speed and all that. Somebody told me a long time ago, you can't buy swing speed. <laughs> swing speed is something you have. Okay. You know, my partner next to me that I play golf with, my swing speed of 100. Mine's 80, say for example. He's in there farther than I am, so what I might have to do, if he uses a 6, I might have to go down to a 5 to make up for that loss distance. Right. So and you, it's, it's, it's adjusting. And, and the further you have to hit the ball, the less, the less uh, what's the word? Um, you, you may get it off. You may hook it or slice it more. You're, you're, well, you might yeah, not be able to hit swinging. it as yeah. straight right. because you're, you're, you're hitting it further. Right. When you swing, you got to swing it in yourself. It's not a game where you got to muscle irons. People, I, I do it myself, but you got to let the clubs do the work. You can't do the work. I, I know guys that play football, that are big guys, they use upper body, swing hard, and it doesn't go as far as a, as, as a young girl who's. 15 that just swings with her whole body and puts her whole body into it, right. body weight. And, um, right. So, you know, swing speed is something you got to work on. And, you know, okay. it, it's. Hey, we, you know what? Well, We've only talked about a couple clubs here, yeah. irons. You've talked about a four and a five mm -hmm. and a six, okay? Mm -hmm. So you got, you got uh, a seven, eight, and nine, and then what? That's for smaller, dis shorter distances, yeah, that's right? Yeah, 100 yards in probably. 100 yeah. yards? 130 or... in, yeah. Okay. A wedge is probably, for me, about 100 yards in. And a wedge, what's a wedge? That's A wedge is pretty much nothing more than a, a club that is kind of, as you can see, it's kind of, it makes the ball go high. Okay, so you hit behind that, and that's, and that's for a shorter, yeah. like maybe 60 yards? or. Well, no, this is probably about 85, 90 yards for me, a wedge. Uh -huh. Some guys said a wedge 130. Oh, but wow. It, it depends on your age. and your. Yeah. But a wedge is, it's, it's made, and if you look at the clubs, they're actually shaped different too. I don't know if you can see this, but the four has a little different shape. It's a little more smaller and longer. Uh -huh. This is more compact. 
Because uh -huh. these are scoring clubs. You need, uh, you, it, it just makes your better hit when you're compact. This is more for forgiveness. It's got more weighting around it. This is a little less, Okay. this is kind of less forgiving, but you don't swing it as hard. But if you put these side by side, as you can see again, Yeah. see the difference? Yeah. Distance and height. So maybe right. 100 yards in, you would use wedges. So in other words, you want a wedge because once it hits the, the green, you don't want it to bounce right. right off the green. If you use the 7 and hit it 60 yards, 70 yards, it might just hit the green well, and just slide right on over, couldn't sure. it? Sure. It's pretty much like throwing a ball. If you throw a ball this way, it's going to hit and roll. Right. If I throw it high, it's going to land. And you want it to land on the green, and you want it to hold. Right. So this is why I use wedges. Okay. Now wedges, this is about, a wedge is about 46 degrees. Then you get into your sand wedges, which is 56. This oh. is more for sh really short, to maybe 30 yards in. So what they developed is something called a gap wedge. There's a, every club should have four to five degrees between them. Like a four might be 19, the five might be 23, six might be 27. You want four yards, but when you have a uh, sand wedge, I mean, you have a wedge that's uh, 46, and you have a sand wedge which is 56, there's 10 degrees there. So what they have, they have something called a gap wedge. This is probably right in the middle. This would be about 52 degrees, 51, 50 degrees, 52. It would be a gap between the 46 and 56, Jeez. which would be about a 50. So that's three so, three different gap yeah. gap wedge or, or wedge irons, so to speak. Right, exactly. Yeah. And does one of those do you use one of those specifically for the sand? Yeah. Well, is that you, the sand you, wedge you, you were talking yeah, about? You can use that if you have a long sand shot. You'd probably use the gap wedge, but oh, for short okay. ones, you use a fifty-six, and I also have a sixty. Wow. And if I want to, if I'm in the sand trap and the pin is maybe. 25 yards, I would use the 56. If it was 10 yards away, I'd use the 60 because it's it's 60 is higher than 56. Right. So this is good for about a nine, 10 yard. So if I had to hit over a sand over a sand trap, you'd want to get a 56. Right. So uh, and when you do it a sand shot, all sand shots, all sand wedges has a flange. It's a really fat bottom. And you can see, well, you can see it's a lot fatter. Let me just take my 8 iron for example. It's a lot fatter than the 8. Uh, so what it does, if you're in the sand, which we'll do a sand, uh, we'll do a sand uh, video later on. Oh, cool. But when you do a sand shot, what you want to do is you want to open it to the sky. Yeah, oh, I see. Because you have this flange on the bottom, which is like a big bulge. Uh -huh. So what's going to happen when you hit the sand, when you connect the sand, the sand's going to grab that club and make it close. Oh, okay. And that's going to get the ball in the air. Oh, tricky. You would think if you hit the ball, hit this wedge under the ball, you think it'd go right under it. But when you hit the sand, the sand will close this club down like that, uh -huh. and it will make it go out of the trap. And so you, uh, in a sand shot, you don't even try to touch the ball, no, you do you? You want to? <laughs> you're they, you're yeah. four or five inches up behind right. the ball or something. Right. They say you want to have like a dollar bill behind the ball, and what you want to do is you want to hit that dollar before you hit the ball. Hit that dollar all the way through before you hit the ball. Oh, lengthwise. Lengthwise, you want to go through. You don't oh, okay. want to lift it up because if you you know the, the, like I said, the flange is going to make the club close anyway. You don't, one thing you want to do is come straight down because what's going to happen. You're gonna dig in. Yeah. You're gonna dig in. So you hear. And the ball is just gonna pooch. Just pooch, go pooch. Right. Compared to underneath, it's gonna slide. This is where you have to trust your swing. Right. right. And hope that the ball goes where you want it to go. Right. And uh, that's where your practice yeah. comes in. And not only do you wanna, <laughs> not only you wanna hit under the ball like that with dollar bill, but you wanna open. You wanna have your body 45 degrees to the left. So, oh. Because what's gonna happen? You. you, you the way the ball comes in, the club comes in, it's going to go to the right because it's open so much. Uh -huh. If it was closed, I would left. I would just pull it oh, left. Oh, okay. So you're making up. So to go straight, wow. you almost got to lean to the left. 
Wow. And that will get the ball. Comes with practice. Practice yeah. is uh, sand shots. Sand okay. shot. Think about it. Sand shots. The only shot in golf that you want to miss hit. You want to miss the ball. Yeah. Wow. Every other shot you want to hit the ball. Uh huh. So as you can see, the golf has you know, all golf is is a game of physics, and it's a game of physics. And once you learn what each club does and. Which club, you know. So it's not necessarily the guy who's a big brawn. No. Because I've no. seen even small guys. Yeah. There's you, girls on the tour. You know, who can hit really good and yeah. score really good. They can't hit it as far, yeah. but. Right. You know. Yeah. There are girls on the tour that are five foot, 110 pounds, that hit a lot farther than I do, and it's not muscle, it's all technique. Yeah, it's so. pretty amazing. But uh, that's pretty much it for irons. Okay. And uh, like you say, this these are ping. I mean, you got Tylus, Cobras. They're all they're all good. It's what you like. Uh -huh. It's a brand. It's like a Chevy or a, a Dodge or a Buick. You buy what you like. And, all right. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it for the irons. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Tom. My pleasure. I'll see you next time. Okay. Sounds good. That's right.